So as you can see, a very nice model is presented here by this team. May I know the name of the team? B Prince. B Prince. By the B Prince team from class 10B. So I'm very excited to see the working principle of this model. So without making any further delay, I'd like to hand over the mic to them to deliver their model presentation. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. So good morning, everyone. Uh, with the members of Big Brains are present over here to present you a model on transfer of energy. I want to mention that before we're making a model on conversion of energy, but due to some problems, we have changed it to transfer of energy. Now, but I want to explain the conversion of energy. So let's let's explain. Okay, so before we were uh, making this, but due to some problems, we, we can't make, but uh, how, what's going on here? So this is the engine uh, that is used in cars, but uh, this is the V6 engine, because six pistons are there. So what we have uh, did is that we have uh, stick some neodymium magnets here yeah, on the tip of this injections and here also uh, some magnets so so when this piston is going here uh, the poles of the magnets are same so when this uh, piston is going here there is a repulsion force and this is coming uh, it is coming again and by the process of this this piston is also going so this works in a, a sink uh, sink manner so when we start this, so it will start working with the magnetic force and the magnetic force will be converted to this rotational force. Uh, but due to some problems, we have not uh, made that. So let's go to our uh, model. The parts of the, the parts used in our model will be told by Sanyaj Pajan. So good morning everyone, my name is Shanivas and I will explain about the uh, parts we have used in this uh, project. So first of all, uh, this is a battery eliminator that is connected to a uh, 12 volt to 24 volt DC motor and this is a uh, 6 volt to 12 volt DC motor. And here is a stuff that is uh, joined between these two motors. And this motor this is, is... This is the 12 volt motor. Uh, 12 to 24 volt. Volt motor, six to twelve volt motor, and this six to twelve volt motor is connected to a uh, DC to AC converter, uh, and this DC to AC converter uh, converter is connected with the LED lights. Uh, so next, uh, next, how this project works will be explained by Kaushik Mandal. So first, we connect to the main current here, then we connect. To the, this battery limiter, battery limiter is 2 to 12 volt. It gives what we need. We can use here. Here it is. No uses. Then we connect it to a DC motor that Sun was already told 12 to 24 volt motor, and giving give it gives current to this motor, and the starts will rotate and rotate rotate going on starts, and for rotating the current is produced in this motor. And from this 2 to 12 volt motor, the current passed through this wire to a converter. This converter converts 12 volt to 220 volt, and we connect a LED bulb to show the current in physically. And now Minas will say about the things that going on inside this converter. So. So I want to explain that what's going inside the converter. So uh, basically, uh, this is the main uh, current that is that is 12 volt, and this is the bulb. Though in uh, inside there there is a transformer uh, placed here. So there uh, 
because it's uh, uh, converting DC current to AC current. So from this battery, DC current is coming. Then there are switches. These are switches. Then uh, th these uh, switches are very uh, fast in uh, closing and opening. This uh, these are also this can be also called as transistors. So since it is uh, converting 12 uh, DC current to uh, AC current, so how this is converted? So when this this transistor and that S4 transistor is uh, on, that is closed in closed circuit, the current flows in this direction. And when this S3 and S2 transistor are closed, then current flows in this direction. The, uh, so we can see that uh, current is alternating in uh, two directions. There is one goes here, then one goes with the S3 to S2 motor. Oh, sorry, transistor. Now uh, we will show how our this model is working. So uh, we are giving here, we are giving here a 220 volt. This is the battery eliminator. Then when we when we switch on this battery eliminator and Working, it's working. <coughs> okay, we can see here uh, the current is coming out. When we keep on uh, increasing the voltage, uh, the motor starts spinning more. So let's us. Let us uh, increase the voltage. It's spinning. Now we will uh, on the converter. So we have on the converter. Now, in now we will increase the voltage. So the bulb will start going. So when when we keep on increasing the uh, voltage, the bulb starts glowing more. So this is our project. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Fantastic and marvelous project has submitted. That how we can convert the DC into as it is another way to convert it, right? Fantastic. Awesome, man. Fantastic. Both bodya. Both bodya. Heart touching, yes. How you feel, man? Huh? Well or not? So so we can use the motor to produce a current also. This is what we learned and we can convert the AC to DC. Awesome. So from where you got this idea? By own idea. And, and from where you bought these uh, equipment, the devices? Online. We have online. Online? Yes. Everything? Yes. yes and how much is the cost of total of your experiment? Uh, two to three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Convert it. It is really, I yeah, loved it man. I like, to ask, I like to show some students and teachers this particular. What do you say? Yes. So, first of all, a small question to you. What is a motor? Uh, uh, what is a motor? Sir, uh, it is a... Uh, it, is a rotating uh, it is a rotating device that's, uh, uh, that is... Uh, that uh, produce, the, uh, produce the current this is a rotating device that works on the principle of magnetic energy so inside a motor there are there is a coil that uh, when we uh, uh, when we put the current there are permanent magnets so when you put on current in the coil there is a magnetic field in produced in the coil and and also the magnetic field is there from the permanent magnet so the two uh, magnetic fields collide and the uh, good, good, coil good. starts rotating so can we use such kind of things uh, in our look one thing what i noticed that we use current to produce current right 
Now, how can I produce current without current? Right? We are just converting, right? We are just converting. Now, means what is the other way to produce without using electricity? Because ultimately, we need to we need to get the electricity, right? So, so we are using electricity to create electricity. It is not a okay. Uh, what to say? Um, efficient in a domestic life. But without ele without electricity, how can we ca create the current? Without electricity, we can create a current by a magnet that shown in their the engine. There, we if we attach the current a magnet through a that syringe both sides north pole and south pole is oppositely it make a friction that pump each other and for pumping each other we connect we have to connect the another motor to that that will rotate for pumping and for rotating of motor we can create a current very good excellent for them very nice. fantastic fantastic very nice Okay, stop.